wait, I'm waiting on you, sir. <laughs> and of course, that's when you do it. Hey everybody, this is Corey. Hey everybody, this is Corey Salty True Floyd, and this is the Geek Report. Today we've got some amazing, amazing news. A lot of games have come out. A hood classic has returned in meme form, and a minor update on a long-awaited video game movie. All that and more today in the Geek Report. Let's go. Hey everybody, this is the Geek Report. I'm Corey Salter, True Floyd. And today we have, of course, my number two, my guy in the chair, Demon Engine. Yo, yo. What's up, everybody? <laughs> and today our guest panelist of Blurred's Eye View over at Blurred Station, Chris Fury. What's happening, everybody? It's your favorite man on the wall, Chris Fury. What's going on? <laughs> man, it's uh it's actually a real pleasure to have you on. I've I've been I've been watching I've been watching Avid Lee for quite some time and I was like, how come he hasn't been on here yet? <laughs> time to time to rectify because because your your show comes on and the your show comes on during the week and we're mostly weekend warriors these days. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, when I started doing Blurred's Eye, I, I I I did I did do weekends, but then as time went on, I'm like, you know what? Since we're always at cons or something. It normally takes place over the weekends. I was like, let's switch the days up. <laughs> like, let's get the folks after the weekend and then going into it. So that's a fair assessment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always planning. But of course, guys, you always know it's the Geek Report. It's another week, another news. Demon Engine, let's go. First things first. Okay, so over at New York Comic Con this week. Uh, Edgar Wright, he actually, he kind of let the cat out of the bag here. He revealed one of Hollywood's very dark tactics. Uh, apparently, just to get Holly Berry to sign up for X-Men 3, The Last Stand, they made a fake script for her to follow to think that was what the movie was going to be. And that, And upon that knowledge, that's when that's when Wright just walked away. He was like, nah, screw this. I'm not. And I'm just kind of amazed by the audacity. I'm not. Audacity and Hollywood go hand in hand. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Remember that Egyptian movie? Audacity yeah. and Hollywood go hand in fucking hand. Yeah, it's it's a it's a timeless classic, uh, that, which is why they're on strike right now. Um, so seeing is it was I think it was Matthew Vaughn, right? It was Matthew Vaughn, mm -hmm. and when he said what he said about them making the fake script, and the, they they even said it, they were like, uh, you know, it opened up and being in Africa, and there was storm, and storm would be there doing her thing. And I'm like, and that's what they went with. And I can imagine she had to have been pissed. First off, I'm just mad that the whole setup sounded great. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, wait, this was the fake script. <laughs> Are y'all sure we didn't get the wrong script? <laughs> y'all didn't class act this? <laughs> Like, oh, we lit the wrong one out. Uh, yeah, you think? Yeah, because X Men Three: The Last Stand is by far next to Dark Phoenix the weakest performing X Men film. But here's the funny thing: the same person who did X Men Three: The Last Stand, the the person who wrote it, wrote and directed Dark Phoenix. <laughs> And there it is. <laughs> I'm still like, let me get this straight. It's so hard for any any director of color to get a big budget project, but y'all put this in the hands of a man that y'all already watched him fail. Yeah, like, like y'all are. Like, I was like, hey, he wrote. Uh, like, hey, he's the guy who wrote the last time we did the Phoenix movie in the bomb. 
Oh, sure, I guess he'll work it out this time. And and you know what's bad? You know what's crazy? The the only great thing to come out of X Men Dark Phoenix was the train scene, and yeah, it was yeah. Magneto the entire run. It was Magneto and Nightcrawler. That was the. <laughs> we got to see. We got to see Nightcrawler's daddy pop up. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, Dark Phoenix was not was not it. In, in X-Men, right. man, that Your didn't rock. Dad is gone, <laughs> and he ain't coming home ever again. Side side note: I still am trying to understand how they caught his dad in Days of Future Past. Like, <laughs> like if you if, if you really look at the movies. There's stuff that they don't show that's way more interesting. Yeah. Like, how did they initially catch Juggernaut and Multiple Man? Not only that, I never forgave them for First Class and killing off Darwin. Mm. First Class first class was a nice step in the right direction, and then you kill off Darwin. And I'm like, wait a minute. The same Darwin who Ooh, can adapt it to anything it to death <laughs> by they to avoid it and became a god of death they okay. literally they literally made a loophole I was like I was like oh so in this one he adapts from the outside in <laughs> well I'm like someone I was like I was like one person in the writers room had a great idea but why did it have to be to kill one of the two black characters? Exactly. That's the great idea. It was just like, hmm. You yeah, like have he, two darkies in your movie. He's too, he's too so OP. You can we sacrifice can't keep him one of them. He's too That's OP. We can't is. keep this guy. He's I go out of Yo, Darwin had a bomb ass power to get through the civil rights movement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. My brain always thinks about like taking these folks from the top, just just shy of the time where they were. I'm like, yo, their power definitely came in handy. <laughs> like literally, just in the past run of X Men, Darwin adapted himself to 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 a whole computer system that ran a city and was stuck there. For 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 hundreds of years, because it, the time ran different inside this the locked away city. So the <laughs> fact that you look back at X Men First Class and just like Sebastian Shaw took out Darwin, really? Y'all y'all were lazy in that, right? I still now. can't even call him Sebastian. Like, I don't feel I like Kevin Bacon's performance was Sebastian. No, like it was I, Kevin I know Bacon. It, it was Kevin Bacon, but it was like. You could tell initially they wanted to use Mr. Sinister, but then mm. we're like, I don't know how to make that for PG thirteen. <laughs> and still, and still, one of the standout scenes again, Magneto taking him out. It was. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, for uh, for a dramatic scene in comic books, that's definitely one of the top ones for me. Yeah, it it, st- it stands. It just because the way it's going, and it's like, yo, this was intense. That was. And he did it slowly. <laughs> I was just like, "Oh, you don't get to die fast." Let's. Uh, but I say we can't fester in this one too long. Let's go to the next one. About to be here all day on on X Men. <laughs> uh, Zelda Williams, Robin Williams's daughter. Uh, she is going to be making her direction her director debut with uh, Lisa Frankenstein's uh, horror comedy that's going to be out in February and. I think that's awesome. <laughs> Definitely. First Robin, off, Robin, Robin, Robin he, Williams is a beloved uh, a comedian slash actor. You know, he's he's still sorely missed because, you know, why not? No, and the crazy thing is Disney just did like this nine minute short video called like 100 Years in Animation. Mm-hmm. And they brought his voice back using AI, which was. It, here, here's the part. Here's the part. felt weird. The, Here's the here's the better part for that though, they actually got permission from his family. Oh yeah, good. 
to 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 do that. And I said, see, if you're going to use AI and do stuff like that, it would be best to go the right route. And and that by them getting permission, they said, okay, it's fine. We can do this. This is all they're asking for. <laughs> And James Earl Jones sold uh, sold his voice to AI for uh, for his deal with Disney. Well, well, I don't know what James Earl is. It's Darth Vader. It's Darth Vader. I, I don't know. Listen, I, I got nothing. <laughs> I think it's one of those things where it's just like, so what do we do? Well, we can't buy his voice. And there was one guy like, actually, we could. It will cost a lot of money. It's like, well, we got enough of that. <laughs> he probably figures, I mean, James Earl Jones is up there in age, so he probably figured. And he officially retired. Yeah, so he's like, yeah. Yeah, he's like he's like 91 now, I think. Is he 91? Man. Yeah, I think. Demon Engine, check. Find out how old James Earl Jones is. That's almost as old as you. That's wild. Nigga, <laughs> shut the hell <laughs> Yeah. Bastard. <laughs> See, wait. Chris around my age. Chris, how old are you? I'm 47. He's older than me. It don't look it. It's the comics, man. I... <laughs> 92. <laughs> He's 92? Nigga, shut the hell up. Damn. Don't Protect that man of all costs. This nigga smokes unicorn farts. Don't don't pay attention to him. I'm just impressed that he can he's find unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> we need unicorns nowadays. I'm just saying. No, no. <laughs> what's uh, what's Sorry. our next one, Demon? I'm not giving out to, that to anybody. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the Van Gogh Museum was supposed to have a a Pokemon promotional event. And some of you hardcore fanboys and collector and, and collector creeps done fucked it up for everybody. When the I, when when the rumor was that the that the Pikachu cards were in the museum early, they it was thousands thousands of them there just being doing the most they they chose the wrong battle <laughs> yeah they doing the absolute most so now they're just canceling the thing altogether and they're probably going to take those cards and just give them to Banksy so he could do some fucked up shit to him <laughs> no you will congratulations you paid yourselves I've only seen I've only seen extreme fanboy fangirlism work one time successfully. Sonic. Exactly, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic was the most successful trolling for fanboys and fangirls, and it worked. And we got much better product because of it. Ever since then, other prior to that, and after that, no, no. The and, oh, we know what happened after that. We 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 made Morbius trend so hard that Sony thought it was a good thing and put it back in theaters. Uh, Sony, who's that Sony? Who's running Sony? We need to sit down and talk. Like, what are you smoking? Because it ain't unicorn farts. Is you smoking something else? You smoking that good old Florida meth that you really thought you this could, was a good idea? He, he could get us meth from anywhere, but no, he chose Florida. Oh, you said of all places. <laughs> you can What's really that? taste the Florida man antics in the Florida man. <laughs> What's next? What's next, Demon? Okay, so another awesome thing that happened at New York Comic Con: Charlie Cox, uh, everyone mostly knows is from Daredevil. He was cosplaying as Bluey, and I just think that's charming. It's fun when you have a celebrity who just loves the nerd culture. And, and, it, and this is probably your best way to just like, how do I envelop myself and not get mobbed? Because no one's going to believe you. Right. <laughs> it, 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 if, if more celebrities lived their life 
like Bill Murray, no one believe it. No one would believe it. Oh yeah, Bill Murray has great stories. Yeah, yeah. They, they, and no, and it's to, it's to the point people believe it now. They're just like, yeah, we had a wedding and at our reception, Bill Murray just dropped in, and it's like, yeah, I kind of believe that now because I've heard yeah. so many stories of this dude just popping up. But again, this is just beautiful because I love. I love when I love when I love when everyone gets a chance to nerd out and be happy. Adam Savage from uh, MythBusters, he does it at San Diego oh God, every yeah. year. He he cosplays, always has a great cosplay. He of just course so he, he, can, he better. You know, yeah, he's got the skill set at this point, and just so he can, and not only just so he can nerd out and cosplay, but he doesn't get mobbed because mm -hmm. no one knows, right? Let's go. What's next, Demon? Mm, hold on. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> every once in a while, teachers goof. And when they goof, man, they go hard. Apparently, this fourth grade class thought they were going to be watching classic Winnie the Pooh. But apparently, <laughs> apparently they saw the, rec the recently panned B movie. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Soon to have a sequel. Yeah. Oh no. With the he's he's going to do Peter Pan. Yeah. It's it's going it's going to be it's going to be a bad movie cinematic universe. They've done it with they've done it with Winnie the Pooh. They've done it with the Banana Splits. They're doing a sequel to Winnie Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. You know, right, like, right, let's be real. The only reason they did the Banana Splits is because it was like, well. They still like figure out what they're doing with uh <laughs> with Five Nights at Freddy's. So let's uh yeah, right. <laughs> let's let's get this one out the out the bank right. All right. Have you watched Blood and Honey? Yes. I chose not. I chose. Can not. we talk about how one white girl was stupid when she killed she killed Pooh Bear, but she could have did, did that quietly without alerting fucking. And not Pooh Bear. She killed the pig, but she could have did that quietly without the fucking. She want a monologue, take out her anger. If you don't cave, that motherfucker skull in, you keep it pushing. This girl wailing out. Yo, she, didn't, she didn't. She didn't do the rules to uh, horror movies. She didn't do the double tap. Well, she was bashing his head in with a trying to uh, fucking thing, but like was taking her time with it. She hit him and then uh, yell at him. Hit him some more before finally like laying the fucking final blow. If y'all uh, get also, your lifetime, can we move, talk move about asses out of here? how the fact that what Pooh was a goddamn absolute unit. Yeah, a kid slap chop somebody's face off. Oh my god! Oh bother! <laughs> oh bother! What's in the, uh, what's next, demon? Hilarious. I was watching that with my friends, and every time it looked like he he just like, sighed and had to do shit. That's all we would say. Oh bother! <laughs> oh bother! Oh bother! Really, Scott says that the upcoming Alien film is fucking great, according to director. Okay, so <laughs> really, Scott, here is why I need you to stop talking. A lot of stuff you put out lately has been shit except for raised by wolves but then again that's because there was a whole team probably guiding your hand the last time you made a theatrical film you wanted us to watch uh matt damon fight uh the guy adam driver <laughs> over uh, over a rape victim for christmas what? So, so when you say your next movie is going to be fucking great, uh, maybe someone else should talk for you. You know, I'm not really. Also, I was I expected it, I expect a statement like this to come from Logan Paul. <laughs> you said of all things. Yeah, it's Ridley Scott. It's fucking great. I'm like, bro, what are you directing, Jackass Five? <laughs> I, I'm. I have learned, especially if this year has taught you anything when it comes to being a critic of a movie or anything like that, anytime they say anything about a film, oh, it's great, is this, is that, it's the next big thing. And then when it drops, 
the Flash. <clears throat> uh, it ends up not being all that is cracked up to be for several reasons. There was so much going against the Flash. I don't think we would have been satisfied. We at the at the at our crew over at our crew, we call it Batman and Friends. That's that's and, and we will die on that hill. That's all DC is. I, 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 universe, the movie universe is fucking Batman and Friends. I would rather. I would rather. The only reason why I went to go see that movie is because Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck. And I wasn't disappointed on those part on those parts. I actually wanted to see what Ezra Miller could do, and I think his performance by itself was actually not bad. Performance wasn't bad. No, I'll say that. Uh, some 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 of the visuals were fundamentally flawed. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. Well, no, I put it no, I'm putting it technically because I watched. Uh, corridor crew on youtube break down the visual effects it's bad you're bad because it was just like and it was just like yeah like the the images of him when he's going through time that's the best that was ever gonna look and there was no yeah, matter what it was there, gonna the, be an uncanny valley with, with it was just like the, yeah with the with the work conditions they were put under yeah <laughs> Because we heard the so we we reported on the stories like yo the the they were under some excruciating work conditions and then and then several months later Blue Beetle comes out and it's fantastic, bruh. But you know what though, <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens when everything kind of goes goes the way it was supposed to, and not have delays and rewrites, then reshoots upon reshoots. While your main actor at one point was a fucking fugitive, <laughs> but let's not let's not let, 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 but, let's move on. But yeah, seeing something when I see Ridley Scott talking about the next Alien film and it's fucking, I'm like, look, let me judge on myself. Let me judge it myself. I'd rather don't don't you ain't got to sell me on it. It's Alien. I'll check it out. Like don't I don't want to hear me. James Cameron's opinion on this upcoming film. Nigga, you made Terminator 2. I'm sorry. 9.78%. There are 47 animated movies out DC animated movies out there. 14 of them are Batman. Strictly Batman movies. Not including the ones he cameos in. Almost 30% of the animated DC movies are Batman. Here's the crazy thing. A good majority of those are actually good. Yeah. <laughs> very, very true. And these are things that are going to be bought up at our panel at J1Con. So that that's that's going to be a funny one. So now that now that the merger is complete, Phil Spencer has said that there is going to be cross platforming on Call of Duty for everybody. Cause you know, PlayStation. I don't know. They they no one cosplay, man. They no one cosplay. They don't cosplay. So, so for those of y'all who are old enough, sounds like those lobby rooms are gonna start sound like 2012 all the way. <laughs> and this is exactly why I'm not fucking playing COD. Not exactly. No, no, I'm not dealing with 11 year olds and a bunch of racists out here using the word nigga like it's butter, just spreading it on every fucking thing. <laughs> no, uh, uh, <laughs> I've never heard anyone say that before, and that's hilarious to me. Oh, he's he's good for it, trust me. Oh man, I, I think this is a We've talked about this on Blurred's Eye and about, you know, how the way the way the video game industry is run, running right now. They, number one, there's a lot of companies that's fallen blizzard. Uh, then there's others. <laughs> there's others that's sitting there and you're trying to figure out how much longer, how, how long will it take before you start doing cross platforms on on a game? It doesn't have to be your entire library. 
Right. But how, how long is it? What what? How long will it take for you to say, "Hey, you know what? We we all might benefit from this." I need cross platform for Monster Hunter. Hey, listen. Talk to PlayStation. They was they was only they was only one. Yeah. They like they was the only one. I mean, look look at that. Look at look at now. They're going at this point. Everything is going straight digital. Like yeah. they're going. They're losing discs. They're, they're getting rid of discs. You get a case in this or a steel book. But that but that's the funny part. This was something that Xbox was talking about back with the Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. When they were like, "Yeah, in the future, there's not going to be physical games." And everyone was like, they crazy, they stupid, they don't know what the fuck they talk. Now look at mm-hmm. don't lose, don't lose that, don't lose that case, don't lose that code. <laughs> don't lose that code. Somebody just got that new Spider-Man. They I guarantee you they lost that code. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's next, Demon? Okay. So, uh, this fi- Bioshock film is still in development hell. Um, word is, word is, DreamWorks uh, may or may not work on it. Spielberg is a Bioshock fan. So, there's some hope there. But right now, they're still in the writing stage. And since writers just got Ew. back to work a couple weeks ago, we wish them the best. And we wish them the best, but how long ago was this shit announced? When we first started doing the Geek Report, buddy. It's bad. Man. I'm sick of everybody. It's so bad. But you I'm know what? I'm to the next I'd rather them take their time and not rush it. True. Generation V, which is another great hit show. It's his first spinoff from The Boys. It just got renewed for season two. Right now, they just finished up episode six on Amazon Video. I am loving this show. I am I am severely surprised because if you've read the the boys comic, there it was a different direction. That's putting it lightly. Yeah, it was definitely a different direct. I like what they're doing on Gen V. It's it. They're not relying on the boys as far they're really as. Hard. They, they're not they you get mentions, but that's it. Like it's its own contained thing. And there was also a hit at something from the boys diabolical as well. Yeah, yeah. So also, I, I love it. If you haven't seen the boys diabolical, please check it out. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. This, this is it's a damn good show. Both of them are damn good shows. Uh <laughs> <laughs> and from what from what Kripke said, because he's a showrunner, he said that uh how this season will end, we'll hand it off to the boys, and how the next season of the boys ends, we'll hand it back off to, mm. to the second season of Gen V. So they're doing a strong, they're like, this is what we're doing, this is where we're connecting it, and then we're going to keep moving. I'm like, that's actually brilliant. Yeah. Listen, I love that idea. I love that the sister is a bloodbender. <laughs> what? That's awesome. There ain't no way to call it. Ain't no other way to say it. She's, she's, that's just what she is. She's a bloodbender. She's a bloodbender. <laughs> like, there's literally no other way. I gotta watch this. I've been keeping... Been catching Demon, watch it. Days, so Yo, watch trust this. me. It's, it, it's it. good. It's Speaking... Good. Hold on. <clears throat> Speaking of bloodbending, have you seen the latest episode of JJK? Will we all learn the definition of on-site? Yes. <laughs> if on site, uh, if on site was a person, it was yeah. A mere whiff, a mere taste of this nigga's presence. <laughs> His feet didn't even hit the floor. Like I say, I I wish a, I wish he would. <laughs> Let's roll right, to the I'm, next. I'm gonna go. Okay. Go back and rewatch the rest of this. So. Over the last few days, a game was revealed called Skull Island The Rise of Come. And this shit. I've never seen a game get called the worst game of the year so fast. 
I mean, I think it beat Cyberpunk's record. And apparently the game was only in development for a year. And, uh, oh, it, it shows. At least with the case of Cyberpunk, the problem why it got trashed is because they tried to rush it out. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't work. They the told them out. to completely redo the game yeah. with half the amount of time. <laughs> uh, y'all per, y'all actually approved this shit. I think IGN gave the game a review of a three. Damn, that's low. <laughs> that just means you completed making a game. <laughs> just to say you can did it. Just to say you did it. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's got that hot PlayStation 2 graphics right there. (laughs) Crash. I mean, seriously, this looks like it'd be a really cool mobile game. You know, back when the iPhone 5 was, you know, (laughs) that worked. (laughs) I was going to say, don't tell that to the the people over Mortal Kombat trying to switch that over. Oh, Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, I just, I just might, I just might end up buying Mortal Kombat. I don't play fighting games. That's actually good though. You want it just for yeah. Omni Man? Just for Omni Man? Why not? <laughs> so the Endeavor, uh, this is a, this is actually from the r- rumor mill. This has been going around with the several spots. But the Endeavor Company, which now owns uh, WWE, apparently they want to they want to hand all creative control over to Triple H. As a wrestling fan, I think this is the best idea, hands down. Because literally over the last eight years, you could tell what's a Triple H idea mm. and what's a Vince idea, like this. And whatever it's a Vince idea, you're like, oh. it, it's tra- it gets trashed quickly. It gets stuff doesn't get resolved, storylines get dropped. It's 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 a little too out the pocket. Look, I still don't like Vince wandering around with a do rag on, and 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 <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, Vince McMahon is maybe the most offensive thing I've seen. There's levels the day, to my offense. The, the day he did that and said, nigga, we, it was a Monday night raw. And he said that me, my brother, and my stepdad was looking at you like, yo, what? Like, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? And then, like, black, all black fans had the same look Booker T had. We just like, yo, what? <laughs> Like, dude, that and it's so weird because at the end of the day, this man runs everything, so that was a conscious choice he made. Exactly. I really hope this rumor is true, and I, I think Triple H and Shawn Michaels are doing excellent with these superstars yeah. of backstage. Like when it comes, I think when it comes to handling the creative of the company. It couldn't be in better hands. Here's the thing. I um I remember when Triple H gained control in the first place, right? Mm-hmm. And you could see the quality and you could see how it changed. And no one and part of the reason is Triple H knows all these guys and has relationships with these people and they like him. Mm-hmm. They respect him. Right. So when he came into the gate and said, Hey, this is what we're doing. This is how we get it's going down. No one batted an eye, and you can see the quality change. But then when Vince steps in with a Vince thing, you're just like, he won't let that go. He's even said it. He said, "I, I will sooner see it burn than to give give uh, the control away." I'm like, dude, why would you do that? Like, you go. So this uh, this got my attention, and I, I wanted to bring it up. So apparently, this school the, the school did school pictures, but apparently, uh, they did Photoshop on the kid. Like 
of uh, on the left is his is his natural his natural smile, and on the right is this Photoshop thing. And if I was a parent, I'd be really pissed. Like, um, I, one, I can I can understand them being pissed. Two, whoever did that is a, it did a fantastic job. Number one, I'm like, yeah, they did it, good in Photoshop. But like, <laughs> I was like, they did a damn good job. I'm like, but why did you do that? They put, like, they made this, they angled his eyes different, made the they made like, him a shade five lighter. shades lighter, <laughs> like made his head smaller and gave him. The, I'm like, yo, I'm like, and that's a tight lineup. Smaller, <laughs> put his eyes closer together to accentuate the wide nigga. No, I'm like, I'm like yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all did a great job. However, uh, <laughs> who asked for this? It's, like, I. That's it. I find it rather disturbing, especially when like kids are at that age and vanity can be take a toll. Mm -hmm. So I, I just, despite yeah. the excellent Photoshop job, I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? The fact that they said she's upset because they gave her son veneers and added dimples. I said, sweetheart, they did the whole damn picture. What yeah, like they, they, yeah, they they did a lot. Eyebrows, like. <laughs> The only thing I don't think they really did anything to was the was the ha the hairline. Right. The normal picture looked like he don't want to fucking be there. The second <laughs> picture looked like he bought to sell me some shit. <laughs> like you want to buy some scholastic school books for the fair? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so because and I can only assume this is all AI art stuff. I haven't seen any any initials, but there's a bunch of these images going around, and it reminds me of being in the hood, and you would see like airbrushed versions of like Bugs Bunny smoking a blunt, Tweety wearing a throwback, and but whoever made these, the captions, oh my god. I thought she was my emerald, but all she gave me was chaos. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> Look, all of them I seen are pretty damn tight, but I thought the same thing. <laughs> oh, gang... no, wait. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why they do my girl like that? <laughs> oh, no. Why is why is Bubbles brunette and why is Buttercup a blue? <laughs> Good what are they Lord. doing? Like hey, y'all just y'all 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 messed up. Y'all messed up. <laughs> it do it do remind me of those uh those bug bunny hood right and stuff. Baby <laughs> told me don't play games. She always feels neglected. Trust trust me with her heart, and all I did was wreck it. This nigga look like a big ass Drake. Like <laughs> yo, yo, a lot of these joints sound like Drake lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna and lie. This only not gonna lie. That worse. line. That line. I'm like, all right. Line is good. She ghosted me, so I hopped in the Phantom, and I'm like, it's a bar. <laughs> this is like, I'm not even bar. mad at that. <laughs> I wanted to text you. No, you're going through times, but I know I'll cause more pain. God, who talked these bars up? <laughs> I'm mad he looks like Mac Miller. <laughs> Rocky. Yo. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, you could hear the beat all somber and it's just mm -hmm. it's slow. Horrible. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> He really is the only one that got his get, kept his job. He really is the only <laughs> and it, 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 and it, it's interesting because I'm just like I'm upset because like let's be honest, Ray Fisher got the rawest deal out of all everyone. I think if James Gunn had a out for Cyborg, like if he had a story to tell, I'd say bring that brother back because there was nothing wrong. With his performance, no, 
It the was only just pro- Josh the problem Whedon. was he had no the, the Snyder cut had to make him important. Yeah. It took it took Josh Wheaton to tear up the character and turn around even this to the fact that he says no one wants to see the sad story of their first black character. I said, motherfucker, they all got sad stories. What are you talking about? No, I, I, I no. Wonder Woman doesn't have a sad story. She and she lo- she lost her lover. All right, this nigga was just a regular human. He was gonna die. He was gonna die regardless. He was gonna die regardless. But think about it: one lost his mother and his father in the same day because his mother died. Another one loses his entire planet. Another one loses his parents in front of him. And the other one loses his parent and almost dies himself. And another one actually was told his mother was dead and was basically stuck being with his father. Not, st- not stuck, but he was raised by his father. Not yeah, but he died. You seen the Snyder Cut? He had bitches singing for him. Yeah. Even you know, though all he did good. was like save a fisherman, take somebody's liquor, and leave. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right. Well, can, all right can, can we be honest about something? Out of everyone there, I think the worst movies were the Wonder Woman movies. The second one was horrible. I think the first one was bad too. It was the first uh, one was a good outing. Because it was a it was Diet Captain America. Diet Captain. <laughs> you laugh. Look, 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 if they if they had to if they had to copy copy the uh, formula, <laughs> they had to copy the formula. I will give him that. It, it was yeah, a good but copy the formula all the way up to the point where a guy named Steve, played by a guy named Chris, sacrifices himself into a plane. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you put it that way. <laughs> we might have time for one me, more demon. You give me what? my proper Wonder Woman. Give me my warrior princess. With I think whatever we get besides for days. We not that's we're that's we're not going to see a Wonder Woman anytime soon. No, not other than that Amazon project that he's working on, and that's going to be later on down the line anyway. Yeah, Blumhouse Productions, Jason Blum, he stated that the Spawn reboot, it's still going to be directed by Todd McFarlane, and it's supposed to release in twenty twenty five. Look here, though, stop talking about it. Yeah, and just do it. And then that way, when it, when the time comes, we'd be like, "Yo, we forgot about it, but I'm glad it's here." Don't like we all we we already know that it, the movie's being rewritten because uh, McFarlane might have been satisfied, but nobody else was. We don't know who's gonna play Spawn because Jamie Fox walked away. Mm-hmm. Like y'all were like, I wish they would stop announcing who's gonna play something because then when this shit like that happens, everyone looks kind of stupid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, we we're not even getting a Blade movie now. <laughs> well, that well, no, that's because he, Ali stepped up and was like, "Yo, this screenplay sucks. I'm not doing this." Yeah, like it was too many. It was too many issues going on. The screenplay was they. I think they did redo did the screenplay at least twice, and it still wasn't up to par. Then the strike happened. It was just like, yeah, this 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 ain't it. Yeah. This ain't it. It's 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 taking too long to get where it need to be. Y'all not fixing this. This this ain't Do it. Do we have time for one more demon? Oh yeah. Solid. At least we could get a good look at the Fire Nation in the uh, in the upcoming Netflix uh, Avatar series. I mean, I think everyone looks really good. It it I've seen I've seen the full cast. I've seen the full cast. It's solid. They got a solid cast. And every whoever did the the costuming, they nailed it. I well, you know what the funny thing is, if when it comes to production value and especially in the costumes, Netflix always actually does a really great job. Hold on, I got I got one more thing. Then we can end this all from the back. Okay. Oh Lord, <laughs> take us out the group chat. <laughs> Please. Why? I, I never wanted to know less about anything in the entertainment in my life. 
Keep my I, wife's I, lover's I, name out your fucking mouth. Like every time, every look, I get it. You're selling a book. It's tactics. I get it. But at the cost of damn. I'm like, I'm sure. Look, I seen the video when the books came to her house and the whole family was there. Will was there. The whole family, they were together. So it ain't like he don't know. But at the same time. Jada is just jaded because Will's still more famous than her. And her spawn is more famous than her as well. Right. That's yeah. just because she stopped working to do the child the child raising thing, which no, I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm looking at it, I'm looking for the aspect. It's just like, look, we don't care. We've always had rumors. Just let it live with that. Y'all fix that shit behind clothes because that's what's gonna happen. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Oh, it's already started. If you peeped how if you peeped how that first week she was out there doing interviews and compared to this week that just passed, oh yeah, there's been some conversation. Like they're they're already like it's gonna come down to like, yeah, we've been separating for this minute amount of time, but we we're back together and blah blah blah. Here's our book. Mm-mm. Nope. But anyway, guys, that was the geek report this week. I had a fantastic time. Uh <laughs> it's always fun when I do these things. <laughs> Chris, it was really good having you here. Uh Chris is gonna be on an episode of the Merry Junkies podcast where we're talking about uh movie monsters. It's actually gonna be on IG Live, so make sure you look it out for that soon. Demon Engine, what the hell are you doing? Oh, debating on getting back to the streaming. I'm going to, my due is only going to be on the weekend. It's the only time I really got because school okay. and shit. Also, I mean, yeah, no, yeah, I'll probably start streaming again. I'll be spending a lot of time on VR. I'm possibly going to end up downloading Star Citizen. So see fucking content of that. Oh. I, I've Star already Citizen. found a group. I've already found a group. I have already decided what my role in that group is going to be. Intergalactic war criminal. <laughs> I'm going to be king of the space pirates. So oh, okay. my one piece. Are. <laughs> okay, space dandy. <laughs> More with like that... space loser. I'm coming here with all the light skin energy. Oh lord. With that being said, this has been a Maribee Media for the Geek Report. We hope you guys enjoyed tuning in today. I hope you guys are subscribed too, because we we know you're watching, but you're not subscribing. So you need to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you'll be updated whenever we have something new to talk about. Uh, see you next week. Please be well. Take care of each other. And no one's putting drugs in the trick or treat candy. <laughs> Be sure I'm not, not wrong. And I, this time, I won't threaten you all by coming after all of you since I got the new mic and my voice sounds all crisp. Just remember, our friendship, uh, knowing each other has made us friends, but your sister can make us brothers. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> I can't take you nowhere. <laughs> <laughs>